prone shoulder flexion or overhead extension. Feet up the wall at a 90 degree angle from our foot, knee, hip. So a little bit closer. We're gonna take a yoga block, foam roller can also be here, and we wanna squeeze it in between the knees. We wanna take our low back and push it to the floor. So this will basically mean closing our rib cage down. From here, we take the weight, elbows lock straight, hands trying to push together to crush that weight, fist squeezing the weight, elbows being pushed together to help eliminate any compensation from the elbow. We get the weight as close to the floor as we can without compensating. So a compensation would be the elbows bending, would be the low back coming up off the floor, and it would be the hips sliding out, okay? We wanna make sure we stay in nice and flush, knees squeeze tight, elbows locked straight, Couple of seconds pause before pulling back in. Now a great cue for this is to actually place like a resistance band in the arch of the low back. Get the client or yourself to push their lower back down to lock the band in and then you can sit out to the side there actively pulling on the band. So if they're going into flexion and their rib cage kicks up the band's going to shoot out the side and you know they've compensated it through the low back. To progress this drill, it's really simple. We bring the feet down the wall. We can put the legs of a foam roller across our T-spine. Have a couple of yoga blocks behind the head. just to create some more distance between our hands and the floor. Now only progress this if you're in no pain and if you already absolutely own and master the initial progression. Thank you very much.